Our guest for this special edition of the Mustache Monologues is the only person ever elected to both the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, and the now shuttered National Mustache Hall of Fame in Pittsburgh. With 341 saves in the major leagues, his career season was his 14th and first with the Milwaukee Brewers when he led the American League in saves, posted a 1.04 earned run average, and won both the Cy Young and Most Valuable Player Awards. A seven-time All-Star and easily a contender for Best Living Mustache, it's my honor to introduce number 34, the great Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh, we welcome you to the Mustache Monologues. We thank you for being with Fans for the Cure to educate the men in our audience on how to grow a mustache. What makes for a Hall of Fame mustache? The uh, Hall of Fame mustache is all up to the guy that's carrying it. I mean, the mustaches in sports really didn't become popular until right around 1972 when the Oakland A's, when we started doing it. Then uh, all of a sudden, everybody in basketball, Jabbar, uh, Larry Bird, they're all popping up with these mustaches. And uh, it was kind of their uh, identity. Uh, people recognized them because of their mustache. I go out now and uh, people will say, hey, you got a mustache just like Raleigh Fingers. And I say, yeah, I know, I, but I'm a little better looking than he is. <laughs> if you would, Raleigh, tell the story about Finley and uh, you guys on the Oakland A's and how the mustaches became indigenous to the Oakland A's ball club. Well, 72, uh, we came to spring training. Reggie Jackson showed up with a mustache and a beard uh, combined. And uh, there were, at that time, no facial hair in the big leagues. And he wouldn't shave it off. All the guys on the team uh, got on him. Hey, shave the thing off. You know, it's not right. And he wouldn't do it. So, um Catfish Hunter, uh, myself, uh, Daryl Knowles, I think Bob Locker, there was about four or five of us pitchers. We were sitting in the bullpen one day and we said, hey, let's grow mustaches. And if we grow mustaches, Dick Williams, our manager, will say, okay, guys, cut them off. And uh, that'll be the end of it. And Dick Williams would say, okay, Reggie, you got to cut your mustache off. And it didn't work out that way. All of a sudden, we get a memo sent from uh, Finley's office. Uh, and uh, the memo said, anybody who has a mustache uh, on opening day and you make the ball club, you get uh, $300. So uh, that's the only reason why we grew mustache. I mean, these guys would have grown a mustache on their hind end for $300. And uh, we started winning. I think uh, the first uh, 12 games of the season were like uh, nine and three. You know, baseball players, we're the, uh, we're the most superstitious animals in the world. And so we kept the mustaches and we kept them the whole time we were in the in the uh, in Oakland in Oakland playing for the A's. So how long, Raleigh, did it take for you to look at your face in the mirror and think, hey, wait a second, this isn't your standard <laughs> looking mustache. This isn't Dick Tidrow or the Ed Figueroa model. I no. got really special going on here. I was 26 years old. I've never had any facial hair, no mustaches. And so I started growing it. And uh, started turning it up with the, with the handlebar stuff. And the guys kind of liked it. They say, well, why don't you just keep that and see how it goes? So I did. And then in 72, uh, we won the World Series. Now, all of a sudden, I got a handlebar mustache. My face is plastered all over the TV. Everybody's talking about the mustache gang. And so we win the World Series in 72. So I got to keep it. I mean, you don't shave off a mustache after winning a World Series. So 73, same thing. We beat the Mets, win the World Series. 74, we beat the Dodgers, win the World Series. Now I've got this thing for three years on national television and bang, I got to keep this thing. And I've been stuck with it now for 50 years, but I only did it for 300 bucks. Uh, our charity has any number of men, Raleigh, who are a little over two weeks into growing their mustaches. <laughs> Uh, and I know you take pity on them at about two weeks. Uh, are there any enhancements or enhancement products known only to professionals like yourself uh, that might help our participants as they come down the stretch to November 30th? There's nothing really you can do to make it grow faster or, or longer or anything like that. You just, it's just your facial hair. Some guys' hairs grow faster. If they're really too thin, you really got to let it go and maybe try a different style, maybe pencil thin mustache type of deal. If you've got good facial hair and let it grow in, you can do the Fu Manchu or the Goose Gossage and just whatever fits your face, whatever you think looks good. 
and uh, your wife or your girlfriend will let you know one way or the other if it does or not. So, because they got to live with it too. <laughs> <laughs> what three or four mustaches are your favorites uh, among the greats, living or deceased, and uh, beside Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I got Howard Taft, uh, the president. He was like he was the last guy with a mustache in the White House. I always liked uh, oh Goose Gossage. And um, oh, gee, Dale Earnhardt. I, every time I see Dale Earnhardt, I can't mistake that uh, that mustache. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, you see that mustache, you know it's Kareem. Also, that he's seven foot tall. If you will, please make the argument to our participants for embracing the mustache lifestyle into December and possibly beyond. And once it starts growing, you can. Do different things. You can, you know, if you just start with a regular mustache, then maybe you can start letting it grow down a little further. Or you can bring your sideburns into it. Uh, there's a whole, your, your whole face is going to grow with, with hair. So you can make it any style you want to, whatever looks good. Raleigh Fingers, the superstar guest on the Mustache Monologues. Raleigh, thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me. I, I hope I enlightened a lot of guys out there to start growing mustaches and maybe keep them. So uh, you guys go now.